Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today, I will show you how to install Windows 11 correctly using a USB flash drive. No shortcuts, no cracks, just the official method from Microsoft. So grab your USB, sit back, and let's get started. Start by typing Windows 11 download into your browser's address bar and hit enter. Click on the first link, it should take you to Microsoft's official website. Here, we're going to download the Media Creation Tool directly from Microsoft. Before downloading, I recommend reading the instructions provided on the page to understand how the tool works. Click Download Now. Choose a location to save the file and hit Save. When the download completes, open the tool by double-clicking the file. Wait for it to initialize, then accept the license terms. Now, I'll leave all default settings as they are. Just click Next. On the next screen, choose a USB flash drive. Before proceeding, ensure that you're connected to a reliable internet connection. Your USB flash drive is plugged into the computer. The USB flash drive should have at least 8 gigabytes of free space. Back up any important data on that USB, as it will be completely formatted in the next step. Click Next. Select the USB flash drive you want to use. Click Next now. Just sit back and let the tool download and create the Windows 11 installation media. If your internet is fast, this shouldn't take too long. Once it's done, click Finish. Congratulations! Your USB flash drive now contains the official Windows 11 installation files. That wraps up the first part. In the next part, I'll walk you through installing Windows 11 on your PC using this USB flash drive. Welcome to Part 2. Now that we've created a bootable USB, let's move on to installing Windows 11 on your PC. Plug your USB flash drive into your computer. Press the power button and immediately start tapping F12 repeatedly. This works for most Dell machines. If you're using a different PC brand, check the description below for a link to a full list of boot menu keys for all major manufacturers. Thank you. 
Once the boot menu appears, select your USB flash drive and press Enter. The Windows 11 setup will begin loading. Choose your preferred language. Click Next. Click Next. Make sure Install Windows 11 is selected. Check this. Accept the license agreement. Next, you'll see your storage drives listed. By default, Windows selects the partition that contains your old operating system. Leave that selected, then click Format Partition to erase it and prepare it for a fresh install. Click Next. Click Install and wait. Don't touch anything, just let the process complete. Once installation finishes, choose your country. I'm keeping the default option here. Yes. Skip. When prompted, connect to the internet. This step is required for Windows 11 to proceed with the installation. Click Next. Give your PC a name. Next. Choose Setup for Personal Use. Click Next. Windows 11 requires a Microsoft account to complete setup. Click Sign In. If you don't have an account, check the description for a helpful video on how to create one. Now, I know there are some tricks online to bypass this step without a Microsoft account, but in my experience, none of them work anymore. 
Microsoft has patched most of these methods. While some may suggest using fake credentials, I highly recommend sticking with genuine and official solutions. Since I already have a Microsoft account, I'll go ahead and sign in with my email and password. Create a pin. Click Next. Click Accept. Choose Set up as a new PC. Click Next. Choose your preferences accordingly. Accept. I'm skipping most optional settings for now. Click Skip. I'll choose Decline because I don't need Microsoft 365 at the moment. Next. Skip for now. That's it! Windows 11 is now successfully installed on my PC. The best part about installing Windows directly from Microsoft is that it activates automatically when you connect to the Internet. As you can see here, it's already activated. That wraps up this complete tutorial on how to download and install Windows 11 using official tools in a safe, reliable, and proper way. This method is not only secure and legal, but it also works for any version of Windows supported by Microsoft, not just Windows 11. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe for more helpful tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.